Yeah, so it started with uh, a, a poem of Mer the poem of Merwin's, which is the first in the cycle, which I read uh, first in, in the New Yorker, and I knew it right away. I wanted to set it, and I was thinking of doing something for Pan Bilal and uh, Don Berman because they had um, they were I've been wonderful to work with, and they kind of I was actually hearing Pan's voice all the time I was writing it. Then I was looking for other texts that would um, complement um, Merwin's poems, so they would all be poems about night, and the falling dusk, and so forth. <laughs> it's the last completed piece I did. It came about in a very odd way, and it's all due to dinosaur. Totally, it's a total dinosaur piece. What I Im immediately heard, I mean, at the beginning the piece be really began to write itself. So there was this duet of violin and, and um, clarinet, and I heard a duet of piano and uh, horn, which would be totally in contrast. It's very reductive, very few notes, and that's the hardest thing, but then every note really counts. And, and the length of every note and the length of every rest. And, uh, uh, but I knew, also I knew then that it would um, introduce a fifth instrument, the cello. And I had a perfect introduction to the cello for the next section. And the cello, obviously, since it's been doing nothing but sucking in, being paid for doing nothing for half a piece and sucking his thumb there it's about time he does something so he has <laughs> to have an aria right and then <laughs> I came one of those weeks when I thought I don't want to write music anymore maybe I should be a plumber because it's you know then I, I hadn't been thinking of the piece as a whole I'd just been going on right and then well now look this has to somehow shape up into a piece. Um, and I don't know any other piece that has five instruments and they're never playing together. <laughs> and I got stuck with this, not because I thought that was such a grand idea, but just because that's how it happened. And so that cello section, I don't know how many rewritings, total rewritings, three or four, from the beginning, just throwing away. That became very hard. And um, uh, so gradually, and then um, it, um, it ev uh, after the cello uh, aria, then the, the, the trios and, and a quartet. But they never, the five instruments never play together, <laughs> except for one measure where they all play the same note. <laughs> uh, so it's a climactic measure, and that's it. Uh, and it struck me that it was, I couldn't call it, then I, then I started fooling around with the titles, you know. I, you can't call it quintet because they never play together. But I had the sense it's kind of like a narrative with uh, one duet is one character, and you know, and, uh, the, the separate duets are, are separate characters and, and so forth. Uh, but without any particular story I had in mind, just uh, a, a narrative. So what I finally settled on for that title was, I'll call it a deserted street, and call it a, call it a, a narrative, a musical narrative, and give lots of credit <laughs> to Dinosaur because they are totally responsible. Any mistake I made, it's their fault. <laughs>